Hard Money, a guide to how much you can borrow. Today we're gonna go over what lenders lend the most. Now that may mean two things to two different people. Some people, how much can I borrow? Does that mean I could borrow five, 10 million? And other people, it's like, what is the max loan to value I could borrow? So we're gonna quickly go through the three lenders out there who are lending in the hard money, private money, asset-based lending, and who lends the most money as far as dollar amounts, and then also loan to value. As we've seen before, we have three different kind of lenders out there. We have the local lender. So that's someone who's lending in your state, your city, maybe your region. And then you have the national. These are the companies who have popped on the scene the last five years. They're backed by hedge funds, Wall Street. They're more of a national brand. Maybe they're lending in 30, 40 states compared to your local person who's just lending in your area. Last, we have what we call real OPM. And that's when you find that partner, that person in your area that wants to lend. They want to lend without the points and the fees. They just want a better rate. So it might be your neighbor, it might be your friend. That's when we're talking about real P OPM. It's real people's money. It's real people in your neighborhood, in your community's money. First, when we're looking at who's going to lend the mouse or where you're going to get the mouse, let's look at dollar amounts. So who has a capacity to lend you the biggest dollar amounts? And that is typically always going to be your national lender. They're backed by Wall Street. They're backed by a hedge fund. They have money. They have unlimited money, typically, for loans that fit into their bucket. So when you're looking at large loans, maybe a million to $10 million and up, yes, these people will even do 150 to 250, but when you're looking for larger amounts, when we're talking about who will fund the mouse as far as dollar amounts, you're typically gonna to go to your national lender. Next on that list is your local. Now local also comes in many different sizes. There's some small little local hedge funds or companies who put together pools of funds. Local lenders are looking for loans under a million dollars. Their biggest sweet spot is in that affordable home. Maybe a hundred thousand, maybe 300,000, depends on what is affordable in your area. When you're looking at real OPM, remember you're talking a person, a person who has money in their IRA and in their investment accounts. Sooner or later, they only have so much money. They may be better for a loan that's 25,000 or 50,000 for the gap funding, or maybe they do have 500 to a million dollars. We have people all the time here locally who are lending those kind of dollars, but guess what? When we're talking about who can lend the most, it's also, how much can they put out on the streets or how much can they lend? Typically, these people are gonna be the first ones to run out because they have a definite amount of money that they can lend. And once that's done, they're done. Your local lenders typically will have the next amount. These people can run out way before your national lenders. When you're looking for a steady stream of lending, typically you're looking at your national lenders, but that comes with a cost too. They may hit you a little bit more on the loan to value or some of the other appraisal costs, underwriting, all those other fees. We have a great product out there, Loan Optimizer. It's on our website, hardmoneymike.com. You could actually put in three different lenders. You could put in all three of these for each project and see with that project who would actually be the cheapest. Our focus is getting you put into the right lender to make sure you make more money on your project. We wanna just make sure you are making the kind of money you should, you're not getting swindled or taken advantage of in the markets because there's some people out there who would like to charge you as much as they can so they can make as much as they can on each loan. We would rather see you be successful in each deal and that's why we offer products like the Loan Optimizer. When you're looking for maximum loan, there's the actual gross dollar amount, but there's also what is the loan to value or max ARV. What you're gonna find in this market at the end of 2022, lenders have tightened up. This is the lender that's pulled back the most as far as how much they'll lend you. What we're seeing out there is they're lending somewhere between 80 and 90%, depending on credit, depending on your criteria and stuff, of the total value of that project. Local lenders would probably be the next because as long as they understand their local markets and everything, just like us, we are still lending at high loan to values just depends on where we are as far as the actual loan to ARV. But local lenders are somewhere in the 80 and you can still get up to 100%. Now, if you're trying to maximize your loan to value, it doesn't even matter the ARV, that's where that real OPM person is because a lot of them will always lend up to 100%. It doesn't matter if you're even at 75, 80% ARV, 
the local person because maybe it's more trust based maybe since it's smaller projects they could keep their eye on you know we have a great product out there too teaching people how to find real neighbors acquaintances real estate investors who just want a better return on what they're getting they're getting two to three percent at a bank and if you could get them five or six percent it's a lot better than what you're getting at the lenders because they don't have fees. We know one thing, you're gonna need all of these lenders to be successful in real estate. It just depends on each project, which one's gonna lend you the most money based on how much money they have. If the project fits what they like, what's their lending box? Do they like your project? If they do, more than likely they'll even stretch some of these. Our focus here is to make sure you understand where hard money works and where it doesn't in real estate investing. We wanna make sure you use leverage correctly. And leverage correctly means you're making more money. Real estate is a leverage-based business. You need money to make money, just doesn't have to be your money and you don't have to overpay for it. Too.